Yeah, unfortunately, not only that happening, this happened. See how crooked that is? Another time before that, no camera in the car, I yeeted the laptop from the seat onto the floorboard, pulled the heck out of the cable. This is a $150 laptop, 200 bucks. These cables, $5. That ECU, $2,500. That port on that ECU, that's downtime. I can't afford to do that. So today, we're taking care of this. I went on Amazon and I found this really cool panel mount. It's a USB-C panel mount and I plan on putting it right here. Before I go through all the trouble to retrofit the dash to put this in there, let's test it out. These are USB-A's. We have one for the ECU, one for the IC7. Got also from Amazon some A to C adapters. Let's plug them in. I want to make sure we have proper data flowing. Put the ECU on that side. Let's put the IC7 on this side. Now, with another USB 3 cable, that's C. Let's go ahead and plug into ECU. Plug in our lappy top, and hopefully, we have data. Of course, you always put it in wrong the first time. I heard the sound, and it's loading. So sweet. So this bulkhead connector is passing data. We have some live data going through here. Let's try the IC7 now. Loading. Come on, baby. Nice. Let's load up a dash. See if we see some live numbers. And we are. So we get a good data connection. So now, if I do eat anything on a cable or damage it, these yellow cables will be tucked inside the dash. This port will be right there with this single cable hanging down. The worst thing is, I damage a $10 bulkhead, a $5 cable, or one of the two ports on this laptop, and I won't be out of a $2,500 ECU waiting for that one USB-C port to repair.